Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. I hope you're doing well, having a great day. I have a few updates, so I thought we're gonna talk a little bit. So let us begin. First of all, we have a new name uh, for the channel. This is something that I wanted to do for quite a while now. Uh, basically back in the day when I created the channel, I did not really know if I'm gonna keep doing it for the long run. So I did not uh, pay too much attention to the name I'm choosing. I went with Raphael's Quest. And yeah, just went with uh, whatever came to mind without uh, thinking about it too much. But over time, you know, as I kept on uploading videos uh, to the channel, I kind of figured that uh, something about the name kind of feel a bit long and even a bit clumsy. So I wanted something shorter and more uh, easy to remember. So I took Raphael's Quest and I kind of squeezed it into RQ and added the word play. So that became RQ play shorter easier to remember and i think more catchy um let me know in the comments what do you think uh, i am happy about it and i think uh i think it's better but uh yeah let me know so uh moving on i want to say that regarding the games that you can expect in the short run i did upload a post about it uh, not long ago but uh, i wanna add a follow-up update to that so basically as i said in that post after completing portal 2 that was amazing by the way uh, we're gonna play uh, The Quarry and Resident Evil 6, two games that I'm very happy about, it is the spooky season after all. But uh, something that I did not expect is for Capcom to release separate ways, kind of a surprise actually. They did announce it and a week later it was already released. So they announced it a week before the release. So because I did not know it was coming, I kind of spontaneously squeezed it into the schedule. So that's why we are playing now uh, Resident Evil Separate Ways, Resident Evil 4 Remake Separate Ways DLC. And once this is done, we'll go back to our original planned schedule, which as I said, is the quarry. And after that, Resident Evil 6. Uh, past Resident Evil 6, I don't have something specific planned at the moment. So if you want to suggest something, please let me know in the comments, of course. I will consider um, taking into consideration everything that you are suggesting and recommending. Even if I'm not uploading right away, trust me, I do take into consideration uh, recommendations that you are writing in comments. So that regarding what you can expect in the short one. And now something that I'm very happy to talk about. I cannot say too much. It is still early stages, but I'm developing my own game. Something that I'm very excited and happy and thrilled about. It is something that I became very passionate of. Uh, right after starting, I realized how much fun it is to do so. It's also tons of work, ton of hard work. Sometimes I'm having sleepless nights working on this thing, but I have no regrets. I have no regrets. So uh, basically, as I said, it is still early stages, so I cannot say too much. But what you can expect, uh, basically, this is a game that plan to be released on Steam officially on late 2024. There is a slight chance it will be delayed to early 25. I'm doing what I can to not delay it. Not because, uh, you know, uh, I have to release it on 24. I just, so, uh, I cannot wait. I cannot wait to share with you uh, this project that I'm working on and with the community of Steam in general. And more details that I can say, this is based on a novel that I've written about 10 years ago. I've always wanted to go back to that novel and maybe use another platform to uh, share it. So it was not something I published. I did that as a hobby, but I really came to love that story and I did care for it. And I did work on it like really, really hard. And I think it will work well as a video game. So I'm making now the adjustments in the writing, how I can make it uh, more suitable for an interactive experience and not only as a reading experience. So it will turn into a visual novel, a choice matter game. Your choices will affect and have major impact on the story and the ending and also i can say that it is a detective mystery a very story driven heavily story driven detective mystery again based on that novel that i've written and what else can i say about it it is uh, basically an indie game that i'm developing by myself so this is a one-man project so i'm kind of lowering the expectations but i am working hard on it like really really hard to make it the best i can and besides that i'm building it on the rpg maker mz engine but it is definitely not an rpg as i said it is a visual novel choice matter game it will have elements of hidden object game so minor puzzles but mostly heavily story driven choice matter game again your choices will have major impact and if you want to know or have a notion of what rpg maker games can look like you can uh, take for example a game that i really really love uh, that is called to the moon 
that was built on RPG Maker, an earlier version of RPG Maker. I'm building it on RPG Maker MZ. It's a newer version of that engine. I'm not saying uh, you can expect uh, the same level of To The Moon. That was a huge success. Again, I'm a single developer and I'm new to developing, so I'm doing what I can. But I can say that I'm pouring my heart into it and I'm giving it everything I can so it will be the best it can. And I cannot wait to share more details about the game, but a step by step when the game will be in a more advanced state i will release an official trailer and we'll do that properly and i will upload a dedicated video just for this game that i'm developing and lastly we're going to talk about a playstation 5 exclusive this is a touchy subject because i know many of you wanted to see already god of war ragnarok and some of you asked me about the final fantasy 7 rebirth so i thought about explaining to you where things are standing and why i'm not uploading playstation 5 exclusive and why i'm not getting playstation 5 so let's talk about it a little bit i feel like i owe you an explanation because people keep asking me and yeah i really really want to play those games uh i'm looking forward to play ragnarok and final fantasy 7 rebirth but there are multiple reasons and factors that i'm taking into consideration and that's why i did not uh, I did not buy yet PlayStation 5. It is not a financial issue. I'm working hard. I have a decent income. It's not that. You think I'm cheap? How could you say that to me? I can't believe this. The reason I'm not getting a PlayStation 5 right away. So basically, here's the thing, right? Uh, currently, we are uploading only two videos a week. We went down from three to two temporarily. And it looks like with my crazy schedule currently, until I release uh, this game that I'm working on, we're going to stick to two videos a week. So already we are not uh, uploading a lot of content at the moment, unfortunately. And there's still a list of games that I want to play. However, I still really, really want to play Ragnarok and Rebirth as well. But here's another thing. The exclusive deal for Ragnarok ends in one month in November, this November. And the exclusive deal for Rebirth, once it comes out, it's only for three months. Now, of course, it does not uh, say or promises that we're going to see those games right away the moment the exclusive deal is over. But I think we have good reasons to believe that those games won't take too long to release on PC. I mean, considering the success of those games, I mean, God of War 2018, once it released on PC, was a huge success, sold amazingly. And same for Final Fantasy VII Remake. So I'm guessing uh, those companies won't take too long to release it on PC. And besides that, something else that I'm taking into consideration, there are rumors, not official rumors, for PlayStation 5 Pro to be released uh, in a year from now, you know, more or less. So I think it's maybe smarter to wait for the PlayStation 5 Pro that will be, uh, without a doubt, much stronger than the PlayStation 5. So yeah, those are the things that I'm taking into consideration and those factors that I'm thinking about and that's what holds me from buying a PlayStation 5 right away. And trust me, I'm really, really looking forward to play Ragnarok and Rebirth. Trust me, I really want to. It's not that I don't want to, but as I said, there are multiple factors that I'm considering. So I'm not sure, you know, again, and we are uploading only two videos currently, so I'm not sure it is that urgent for me to get a PS5. And that is the reason why you don't see those games already on the channel. I hope you understand and I'm sorry if that upsets you. I totally get why you want to see those games. I'm looking forward to play those. They're supposed to be amazing. But again, I'm optimistic that it won't take too long for those games to release on PC. But one thing I can promise is that once they will release on PC or if I'll get a PlayStation 5 Pro before that, we are definitely playing those games. I will definitely upload those games to the channel. This is something I really, really want to do yeah so that's about it i hope this video oh, i feel like i talked a lot like really too much so i hope this video helped you kind of understand where the channel stands or where it's going in general again if you want to uh, share some thoughts in the comments what do you think about this new name or there are specific games that you want to see please let me know and thank you very much for watching i'll see you soon